Today we have very interesting theme. We will work in the brushing technique with roasting and will decorate within the limits of the program a casket in Provence style. We will remember some methods of aging of a surface and will learn to work with a gas torch. We very much hope that our ideas will be useful to you and you necessarily will use them at creation of your handmade masterpieces with which you will decorate your home or will please your friends. Hello, my name is Natasha Fochtina, and I'm glad as always to welcome you in our studio. Today we have the most interesting lesson. I've decided to show you the tools with which we in this program haven't worked yet. This is a cast torch. And this is a steel brush. And with their help I will show you how at once to decorate a product in two techniques. One is called the roasting, the second brushing. I notice, frequently, many are connecting these two techniques in one, as actually after roasting it's easier to make brushing, though it turns out and without roasting. I think that I have confused you finally, and I should stop in more details on fine points of this kind of decoration skill. So, we begin with brushing. What is it? All is written correctly in encyclopedia. Brushing occurs from an English word brush. It's a special and non-standard process on wood finishing, and it consists that from the top layer of wood by a special brush get out soft fibers. As a result, we have the surface with colorfully expressed structure of ear rings. It's possible to name the God effect if to paint in appropriate way the artificial agent as time influences on not protected wood similarly. Such processing looks good on massive floorboards, parquet, ladders, doors, foot furniture and other home decoration from wood. Breeds of wood with the shown strong and soft ear rings, for example the oak, an ash tree, an art, a large, a fir tree or a pine, giving it to brushing best of all. Brushing isn't applied to a beech, a maple, a pear, an alder, a cherry and a tick. After brushing, it's possible to varnish oil or wax wood, though there is more interesting process which opens wide possibilities on special toning of wood colorful. In other words, it's not necessary to refuse possibility to paint the basic wood in one color and pores in other. And to generalize all efforts said, I want to remind that it's possible to make brushing with the help of such steel brush. You carry out by it a long fibers and get a relief, in other words, drawing of structure of a tree. All is logical. But there is a question. What for I have brought a gas torch and what for it's necessary? It becomes clear to you in the course of work on our casket. Now I should show to you how to use a gas torch. We take the torch in the left hand as a gun, having turned away a nozzle aside from yourself. First of all, you need to turn the front side so that here there will be an aperture. Further, we take the levers aside like this and press a thumb the button. There should be a flame. More truly, it will appear if we have made all correctly. If there is a flame, without releasing the button by the right hand, you move this button aside to yourself. The flame is constant. If you want to switch off the torch, you return this button to the original position. Repeat. Take away, press and fix the flame. If we want to switch off, we take away the button back. It means the flame won't appear. It means that the torch can be not filled up. 
I prefer torches, which is possible to fill with gas from bottle for lighters. It makes very simply. Connect the bottle with the nipple of the torch and press it. Gas from the bottle flows in the tank. I notice to check up is the torch filled up or not, you don't need to shake it. If gas has got to it, the tank becomes cold as ice. So, that our casket becomes such wonderful, we begin with the most interesting process. From preparation of wood for work in the given variant from roasting. At once, I warn you, that in house conditions don't try to do this operation, as first, open flame is dangerous, and secondly, it will be difficult enough for cleaning from the house the smell of a burnt tree and a suit. Therefore, I suggest you to go out of doors, put the product on the earth on sand or on a metal railing, and to take pleasure in work with a gas torch. I tell the truth, I very much like such work. After all, in the combustion procedure of soft fibers, very beautiful structure of the wood appears right in front of you. It looks as magic. I notice that the similar effect will be not with any wood. I advise you a fir tree or a pine, they are used by masters for roasting more often. You can use any gas torch for work, it's not essential. Here is important only that wood burns down, and also is important the degree of how you will burn this wood, or rather, if will burn strongly, and as a result brushing will be deeper. In other words, the product will be more relief. Here all depends on your taste and imagination, and the product which you are going to decorate in this technique. If you roast a whole thing from a massive knot laminated, for example, a fine molded candlestick or such elephant, there is no any problems, roast deeply as you want. But if this thing is glued together from separate details, as for example this casket, in no event don't strongly roast places of a fastening of details, the work will become unstuck and the work will turn into junk. It's better not to roast these places absolutely. Later, they will equally get a relief in brushing process by a brush. If you have roasted your casket, you can take a special steel brush and with its help to clear burnt wood of coal, which has turned out in the combustion process. We work with the brush strictly along fibers. Another variant isn't acceptable. If we hold the brush against wood fibers, we won't get any pattern and just scratch the product. This process is called brushing instead of roasting. Roasting is an independent method, in our variant we have combined them together. In other words, after we have roasted the product, we clean from it burnt soft fibers of wood and more rigid remain on a place. Thus, we have beautiful pattern of structure of a tree. After roasting, we can bring home our preparation. Remove scale from it using a damp cloth and begin work on decoration. In other words, transformation of this burnt thing into the beautiful. I don't understand that variant when this burnt piece of wood leaves on a product without painting from above. Probably, this variant will be acceptable to a country house, but in city apartments the similar decor obviously isn't on place. I repeat, it's only my opinion and I don't want to protrude it, I simply show how I think it's necessary to work further with the casket. I use this technology all my life and it never brought me. So, before we begin a decor of the casket, I suggest trim it inside. We take water mordant or an ether of the color you liked and apply it by means of a brush on the bottom, cover and casket partitions if they are. I use for work mordant color of ebony tree. I very much like this color and to work with mordant, as we can regulate their depth by repeated drawing. But it's necessary to do in two hours. This is time of interlayer drying.
In four hours, when mordant will dry up, we can close the casket and continue work with its outer side. At first, we fix accessories, in other words, the handle on the cover. It's necessary to do it in the end of work, when the product is ready, but I don't like color of the accessories, and for Provence style it doesn't approach, therefore I've decided to paint it together with the casket. It's completely not difficult work. Three screws can be screwed even by female hands, especially if at first, to make apertures with the help of all or drill. And if accessories are on the place, we take a plastic stencil with the drawing light, we put it to the casket, and through it we apply with the help of a rubber spatula on the product acrylic of paste of sapphire color. Each time, as you remove a stencil after applying through it paste, it needs to be washed out in water to dry, and then again it's possible to use it on other place. And also it needs to make drawing mirror, for example, as here, when two fragments look against each other. In this variant, we on the one hand apply paste like this, then we wash out the stencil, overturn it, put and again apply paste. And if you will be happy with the result, you need to dry well the volume decor to pass to the next stage of work.
Now, when our casket is decorated by the volume decor and beautiful accessories, we need to continue its decoration. After all, we burnt it and brush. Though, to tell the truth, before coloring there was nothing outstanding on it, except the charred structure of a tree. It can seem beautiful to someone, but not to me. Therefore, I suggest take dark blue acrylic paint and by means of a brush to paint with it all casket together with accessories, in other words, together with the handle. It's not necessary to apply a lot of paint on the product, the layer should be thin, or it will hide brushing surface, and as a result we won't have beautiful effect. In other words, one sees the structure of wood for the sake of which have made so much serious manipulations with the gas torch and the brush. After the casket becomes dark blue together with the lock and the handle, you should dry it and paint with white acrylic paint a thin layer by means of a brush. At all, don't dip the brush in water at coloring. That casually colors won't mix up and give special attention to places with the volume decor which we have put through the stencil, they need to be painted over well. It's easiest to do by such circular movements of the brush. If you are happy with done work, we dry this paint layer and pass to Provence wet abrasion of the surface. We take water storage, deepen it a foam rubber piece, rinse out and rub the casket. Only rub gently to moisten paint. Here any friction with which help the ancient people extracted fire is not necessary. This process is simple. Have moistened the surface and by means of a paper towel remove the excesses of paint as though whipping the surface from moisture. If it seems to you that you have removed not enough paint, again, we apply by means of foam rubber water on the product and again wipe it. Similar water procedures won't hurt the whole casket. They are good both to the luck and to the remarkable handle with an overlay, but this effect will be especially beautiful look on its boards with brushing and volume decor. For the sake of it we have spent so much time. We need to dry the surface and to apply metal bronze wax on accessories and casket edges to give it more noble and elegant look.
It seems to me that today we have spent time with advantage, as have learned at once, about two decoration techniques – roasting and brushing – and have created here such wonderful casket in Provence style, using in work such tools as a gas torch and a steel brush. I hope that you like brushing with roasting and you necessarily will try to apply it in your handmade projects and I only need to hope that my advices and recommendations will help you with it. And also I'm sure that you necessarily will have after this program many remarkable ideas and you necessarily will create something unusual by your own hands. After all, there are many various styles and directions in which you can apply the knowledge received at the today's lesson. Search, look, choose and make beauty by your hands. On it me, Natasha Foktina, say goodbye to you to new ideas. Good luck and goodbye.